Because I haven't done a video for over a month, I thought I'd come back and do something really, really exciting. So I'm going to talk to you today about a wire, because that's the kind of crazy person I am. Yes, I'm talking about a power delivery to 5521 cable. That's it. Nothing more exciting. <laughs> so the reason I got this is because I'm always talking on my uh, kind of off-grid videos, things about, you know, those of you who've seen the channel might realise that uh, I've done a few of those recently, talking about various different batteries and stuff like that. Uh, this is a project that I've got going at the moment, and I've always talked about the fact that I really like having these kind of connectors, because a lot of devices I use are use 5521 connectors, and probably a lot of devices you use have those too and you maybe don't realize that but yeah they often have them and they're often at 12 volts it's really nice to have those kind of connectors on the back of a battery but they don't all seem to do that now you see a lot of models coming out something like the even like the ecoflow pro or the newer stuff from anchor the big stuff from anchor they don't have any of these kind of connectors on so i thought to myself well surely you know there's cables for everything aren't there so surely the, you can get a power delivery to 5521 and that's exactly what this is it's a 12 volt cable so there's something in here that negotiates and says i want 12 volts out from power delivery which is of course multi-voltage power delivery carries 5 volts 9 volts 12 volts 15 volts 20 volts i think and it, it, the newer standards of it are even higher than that but this just no negotiates and sends uh, 12 volts out or oh, that's what it does in theory but it doesn't always work. If you look at the reviews on Amazon for this cable, it came from some randomly named company, your standard stuff on Amazon, where they just want to create a company, so they just literally put a string of letters together and uh, create the name of a company. It came from one of those kind of companies, even though on the actual device here it says Jurindo. They're not that cheap, these, but they are really, really useful. And this, uh, you get the reviews on there, and it says, well, some of them say 9 volts doesn't do anything more than 9 volts doesn't do anything you know and, I, and that was my experience at first it does entirely depend on what you're using and they do put that in the description they actually phrase it slightly differently from that they say something like if you're using cheap chargers it won't do 12 volts and that's not the case at all it turns out from reading up on power delivery that power delivery is actually uh, has optional voltages as well as the ones that it has to support. Now, I thought power delivery as being a standard, it's a, it's a standard. It should support all of them, but no, that's not the case. So let's let's try this out and see what we can find out ourselves. But anyway, I just thought you might like to see this cable, because if you haven't thought about doing it that way, it works reliably. And I've had this plugged in for the last week continuously now into one of my batteries, just um, powering one of my wireless nodes just to see how it would run, whether it would be reliable, and it's been absolutely solid. It hasn't dropped the connection, hasn't renegotiated the thing or anything like that. It is has been absolutely solid. You plug it in, you get 12 volts out some of the time. So first of all, I'm going to try the actual power delivery output from this anchor battery. Let's see what we get from that. So, center positive on this cable. And immediately there, you can see that this anchor power supply, the power delivery on this, simply does not allow negotiation at 12 volts. So all you'll get out is 9 volts from this. And this is why they're getting negative reviews, saying, nah, it's not 12 volts at all, it's 9 volts. Now, that's absolutely fine. If all you want to power is if you want to power something like this, because this has a massive voltage range that it can support 6.2 to 16.8 volts, something like this, uh, this Atomos recorder. So it really doesn't matter. Nine volts is absolutely fine. I guess it just draws more current as a result, and it works perfectly okay. Let's try something that you think would be. Well, I suppose you'd think it would be, a, you know, the, the, the real deal. This is a, an Apple power brick for a MacBook. I'm going to plug that into the mains there. Hopefully that won't impact anything. I don't think so. It might not be a perfect sine wave out of this thing, but it's probably good enough. It's, it's, I've charged my MacBook on it before anyway. And again, look at that. 8.852. It's not even fully spec to 9 volts. What about this one? This is an old one. that I, an old. It is a power delivery brick. It's one of the first ones that I ever got. Actually, I don't use it for much. But I kind of feel like maybe I should now, because if I connect it to this... Oh, 
turn it on, that would help. There you go. An immediate 12.1 volts, straight negotiation, no problem at all. If I plug this cable into my EcoFlow Delta Mini now, which is on the floor, it's actually powering my camera. You can see there that straight away we've got 12 volts out, 12.06 volts. So in summary, all I'm saying is these kind of cables are really, really useful if you're anyone who uses off-grid solutions batteries because they all tend to now have power delivery out. And if you're looking to power any 12 volt devices like internet routers, perfect example, because of course you might wanna have backup power for something like that. This is a sort of cable that can do it for you, but you do need to be careful because not all devices will supply 12 volts. And of course, your router might be okay at nine volts. Probably won't though. Probably won't work reliably. And um, yeah, so you need to check it first, see whether it'll provide the proper 12 volts it should. EcoFlow does, All Powers does, Anchor doesn't. I haven't tested any others so far, but uh, I'm interested to know if anyone's got any uh, power uh, power banks or batteries from any other manufacturers, whether or not they do support 12 volts, such as like Jackery or Bluetti, or those other brands that are, that seem to be an increasing number of them now. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and sticking with the channel during the break, and I will see you soon.